What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend. And in today's video, I wanna give you guys a summary of the investor call with TSNP or Humble Pay that we just had. And uh, they just gave us some updates from the last investor call about a month ago. And it's really good to see the incredible progress that they've been making. The CEO said that they've been working about 20 hour days to get everything done for us. And they've really got a lot to show for it. A lot of the deadlines have been moved up. It seems like they're making some really good progress. So I'm gonna dive into my computer, uh, look at some of the notes that I took about this and explain you know, what exactly the company is up to and where they are headed in the near future. So yeah, let's go do it. All right guys, so this is the slideshow. Um, I basically did a screen recording just so I can go through some of the important slides so you can see what they look like, see any, I guess, visual aids to help you understand the purpose better. But essentially, what he started off talking about was the fact that uh, back in the 1860s, cash and coins were the primary transaction methods. And in the 1950s, we got credit cards, the ability to swipe, stuff like that. And now in the 2020s, the world is just in the beginning stages of switching over to completely digital formats. Just overall, everyone is doing that. I mean. Apple Pay really wasn't a thing in, in uh, supermarkets until just a couple of years ago. And now, I mean, it's, it's in pretty much everyone in the US and this is going to be continuing to happen at a more global scale as economies continue to develop. And it's just something that's pretty cool uh, to be looking forward into and they are here to take advantage of that in all of these developing markets. That is Humble's goal. And uh, so far it seems like they're doing a really good job about that. Um, now, if I go here, mm -mm -mm. A little bit closer. So you can see, um, basically, they are combining a lot of different business factors into their application and they really are looking to some of these other companies that have been successful at doing this in the past. And I mentioned this in my previous summary of the investor call, but uh, they really are looking into Alipay and Alibaba Marketplace as case studies for how they can combine these payment platforms into places where there's also the ability for consumers to shop and merchants to list their products and stuff like that. So it allows them to be the best of both worlds and combine not only the payment processing ability for the merchants, the payment ability for the customers, but also what goods are being transacted. And they, they have all of that ability and their goal is to mix all that together into one package. And I've mentioned, I've mentioned that a little bit before in the past when I was talking about that, but just wanted to revisit that a little bit here. Um, yeah, so another thing that they're talking about is this brand new product that is the best performing asset class of the decade. And that is probably the coolest and most important thing from this investor call. Honestly, if I had to if I had to pick one thing that's the coolest thing that they did, it's uh, the fact that they are probably being one of the, the the pioneers of bundling together digital asset classes uh, like cryptocurrencies and making mutual funds out of that, if that makes sense. You can see here, um, this is what the New York Stock Exchange did in the 1920s, dip down, NASDAQ, dip down, digital assets, dip down. And all of these new market classes, w like when they were initiated, if you got in early, they were nice, and then there was a big tank, and then they followed after that and recovered and went on to, to new highs. And he sees um, ETXs, um, which is for cryptocurrencies, as basically the new ETFs, and that is going to be moving forward the best way of investing your money. And it's just the, the new asset class that is really a transformation of technology because these technologies were not around 20 years ago. They were not around really even 10 years ago. And obviously Bitcoin has exploded since then. And what they're working on is the ability to invest with one click. I'm trying to find the exact wording of it. Um, yeah, one click basket exposure to new markets. And I think these are the, the returns in the last year. Um, but there's, there's just different features that they have for investing, and I, I think specifically at this point in time, these are not directed towards people in the US, so don't be looking to invest in these yet. I think he said, hopefully at some point in the future, it's on the horizon, but for now, I, I think it's regulatory issues in the US that make it a little bit more difficult, so for now, uh, this is not for US customers. He said, don't even bother trying. They had some really good firewalls set up uh, to make sure that you cannot invest in it if you are not, uh, I mean, if you are in the US, but I mean, look at that, you know, 237% returns on this, Again, one click through the same app, I'm assuming, which is gonna be really, really powerful for people in developing countries to be able to put their money 
into strong asset classes like this that in the next 10 years, uh, they should have a very, very good future with continuing institutional investors in crypto. It's gonna be exciting. And the reason they were able to do this is because they did officially announce the merger. I'm not even sure if there's a slide for that. They did officially announce the merger with uh, Block 30, which is uh, pretty cool, man. We were waiting for that and it's it's official. They took all of the intellectual properties and it is now part of Humble Pay. And that includes the fact that they are now, they have two patents pending for digital products and uh, that is gonna be international patents. This is just another thing that they have on the horizon. Um, I just wanna see if there's anything super important that I'm missing here. Yeah, so again, he, 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 uh, he went over the fact that they have a lot of law firms working for them because this is, in his words, I quote, a multi-decade business. So they're trying to make sure that they do everything the right way. So again, if you guys wanna hold this stock for a very long time, it's probably only going up from here overall. Um, day trading this stock, again, is just a way to limit potential downside in the meantime if there's no news. But I mean, it looks like they are seriously ahead of schedule. If I go towards the end here, uh, again, we should be getting that new OTC ticker symbol of HMBL. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's going to provide extra strength to the brand. Um, the app, he said they're moving it forward. It should be ready to launch sometime in February, which is super exciting because I literally would probably be using this app myself once it comes out. Uh, sending money to people internationally is a very difficult thing to do because if you have Cash App, Venmo, like that stuff does not work internationally. And th those are the main cash sending applications that I use. And the fact that, that it's not a thing internationally makes it kind of difficult. And having this is honestly going to be really nice. And they talked about the fact that, um, yeah, these humble studios, they just keep getting more and more, um, I guess, merchants added to those, more and more deals, more and more offers. And they expect that to continue. I think one of their case studies had thousands and thousands of these particular... Uh, I don't even know the word, offers deals listed on their thing and they expect to get an increasing amount of that on their platform in the near future. So I think that's going to continue to be a bigger part of their brand. Um, and I'm starting to see the vision for that more at this point. Um, I didn't really see it before, but I think it can be a really cool thing. And yeah, the goal he said is, I think it's, yeah, the goal is to launch in 40 countries in February. Um, having the ability to have reviews and point and pay contactless without getting cash internationally is gonna be such a huge thing. He talked about his example from Portugal. When you go internationally and you wanna buy something, even if you're just a tourist, you have to get cash and uh, it's just a pain. It really is a pain and there's no digital connection formed, if that makes sense. So if you connect and pay at a restaurant or at a shop in Portugal using the Humble Pay app, you're gonna be building a relationship with them and they're gonna have that information of you know who you are as well as the fact that you're gonna be able to give them a review, know exactly where you were, you're not gonna to have to worry about losing the receipt, stuff like that. And it just, it's what's coming. And if you're not ready for it, that's fine. But this is what is coming in a digital world because as all the payments move forward to a digital platform, the world becomes more developed internationally and everything becomes more digital. Blockchain becomes a bigger part of society I really think the potential for this company is big. And it's cool to see the updates on the progress of all the things that they are doing. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So I mean, financial, Humble Financial was the biggest announcement from this. Um, and again, that is that is their, these products that allow people to invest in these basically ETFs for, for blockchain. And there's a lot of different ones that they have, that they have, uh, he talked about. Um, this specific one, Block 3, which is the Nest thermostat of blockchain. I don't know why I went like this. I went like this. Quotes. Putting it in quotes, not waving at you guys. Allowing merchants to go digital in one day is another really big part of their business model. And this is something that can absolutely transform the business for these international merchants in these developing countries. And it's just really cool to see. It's cool to see. So I'm excited for that. And the last thing that he talked about was Humble Hub store concepts. <clears throat> I'm not super, super clear on what that is. I'm not sure exactly what, what that is going to be offering, but you know, hopefully we should know more at some point, but that is another thing that we need to be on the lookout for. Humble Hub store concept is 
coming along soon in the future. And uh, they're gonna be looking for potential acquisitions to make their job easier if there's something that they feel like they could buy someone out instead of developing it, developing it themselves and they have the funds to do that, they're probably gonna do that. So uh, we could potentially see some acquisitions coming up soon in the future as well. So it's cool to get an update. They've really done a lot in just one month. I'm excited to see the app launch. And he said the proudest moment for him so far was when he saw the Humble Pay ad on the billboard in Times Square, which honestly, that's pretty cool. You gotta admit, I, I kinda got some chills when I saw that. So I'm excited to see what this company continues to do. Hopefully I can make some decent money on MITI, which I can then throw back into TSMP because I would like to be able to hold some of this long term instead of just, just day trading it because I really feel like that's a waste for a stock, uh, you know, for a company with as much potential as this has. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to smash that like button I will see you in the next video. Until then, let's grow better together. Preguntar, bebé, dime por qué te mientes. No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes.